on inequality, see what you think you could put on in and how to shorten it. Fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you Some Mika. What I'm going to do is, while you're tucking into that, I want you to just go through now what the kind of actions that are. Come on. Okay. So what are we doing today? Yeah, talk me through. Um, can we do a bit of a conversation now? Yeah. All right. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, tell me, ask me what I'm doing, what are we doing today? You? Fun. What are you doing? What are we going to do? What are we doing today, Robin? Yeah. <laughs> we are <laughs> trying to take over the world. No, we're not. We have got three craft vision projects that we're going to do. So I've made two of them already. So we've got the bunting that we're going to put up around here, saying become who you are, to try and encourage people to become the best human beings that they can be, especially in this bleak time in Britain where people are unemployed or not knowing what to do and there's so much choice. Um, so leave that up for people to have a think. And then we're gonna, we've also got a mask which I'll show you in a bit, or shall I show you now? Film everything. Do you want a bit? Do I want a bit? In your hungover the state, I'm sure it'll help. The thing is, I had a bacon masala about an hour ago. Yeah, but doesn't it look better? It does. <laughs> this is Marie's craft for you. Yeah. One of the joys of Britain. Oh, yeah. What I don't understand is why you've got no tomato sauce on it. Because you never. No, because the yolk is enough, is enough sauce for everyone. You don't want to ruin it with tomato sauce. And the grease strips also help. <laughs> do you ever do uh, brown sauce as well? Do I ever? No, I don't do any sauce. It doesn't need any sauce. It's a beautiful egg and grease. So who needs sauce? It's nice and moist as it is. Are you jealous? <laughs> I'll leave you a bit. Maybe. <laughs> right. I've got to sort of sound of a bit, so bear with me for a minute. <laughs> You're still hung over? I'm all right. Get in the zone. I'm in the zone, man. What, what now? We are. You're going to tell. Oh, no, you, you made a banner. No, I've got, yeah, I've made a banner, the, the bunting, yeah. and I've made the mask, and then we're going to make the banner. And what are we going to do with the mask? So the mask is going on a statue in South Kent, right. which is really nice. What's it going to say? What's the uh, banner going to say? Uh, the mask? Thing. So the mask said, it's that Edmund Burke quote about, um, uh, something about when good people do nothing, it's, a, it's in my bag. 
I'll show it to you. Shall I show it to you now? Yeah. Shall I get everything out? Get everything out. <laughs> am I saying anything or am I just getting it out? Get it all out. I'm saying anything? <laughs> what? You are going to... Instruct me, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I want to see what you brought. Can you tell okay. me the things you brought today? Well, let me, let me zip it back up again. Yeah, ready? Go on. What we're doing? We're doing all of these different crafters and projects. Yeah. So, first thing, which is dead quick, is I've already made the banner, the bunting, and it says, become who you are. And I've got a little craftivism patch on the back. So it says, become who you are, and we're going to put it around the corner by the council estate um, and some people's offices and leave it up there to encourage people to become who they are. So become the best human beings that they possibly can be, um, especially in this bleak time in the UK where people are unemployed and, and also where there's so much choice in the UK, you don't know what job you want to do. Like our Tom, you know, my brother in Liverpool, He's just finished his degree, he can't find a job, but he also doesn't know what he wants to do, so I'm going to take a picture for him and give it to him for Christmas. Um, I'm going to take pictures and put it on the blog, because I've already written a blog about like inequality and people becoming who they are, and encouraging people to be the best people they are, and all of that stuff. So I'm going to put that up. And I've got a mask I've made as well. This one. Okay. Oh, that there. Sit. Like that. For a statue. So evil flourishes when good people do nothing. So I thought we could put it in South Kent because there's a new statue near the tube station and it's like human size, so it's got a human sized face and it's on the ground so people can still read it because if it's too high up you can't read it. And also South Kent's quite a rich area so you don't really need to think that much about like inequality problems or struggles that people are going through because you're quite affluent so there's you buy the V&A and it is beautiful and I love South Kent but you don't have to worry too much about the world so I thought it'd be nice to get people thinking over there and I've got Velcro to put it up on so it can stay there as well. And then the final one is making a mini protest banner. So we need something that looks a bit like this that we can cable tie in the eyelets but I want it to be on inequality in the UK because it's getting worse and worse. And in this, in 2000, and, what are we in? 2011? In 2011, Britain is the third most unequal society in the developing, in the developed world, which is disgusting. And the fact that all our politicians are saying that we need economic growth to get us out of this situation, I don't think is true. I think they need to focus more on a more equal society, which would help us get on better. It would decrease conflict. It would help people trust each other. It would help, you know, distributing wealth is much better than just growing wealth and staying in the same unhealthy society that we're in, blah, blah, blah. So um, I've got lots of facts from the Equality Trust. So I want to make a little banner on that. And we could, I was thinking we could put it in Notting Hill, where all the lovely buildings are that's near the world's end, which is that enormous estate, because you can see the inequality a lot. But if you think we should put it somewhere else, you could do it somewhere else, you could do it in Spitalfields where you've got the big bank next to Canada. What I want to know is what made you think of the idea in the first place? Who got David E or what was the inspiration to start doing? <laughs> Some sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. No, but that's what? not about today, is it? No, it's a very good point. Oh, why, yeah, why are you giving up a Saturday? Why are we giving up a Saturday? Why am I giving up a bloody Saturday yeah. day around? <laughs> Tell us. Tell me. <laughs> because what else are you going to do in this messed up world? You've got to do something, Robin. We've got to do something to We've got pass to the time until Strictly Dancing comes on. <laughs> We've got to do something because we're in, you know, we're in this, we're in a world that's not right. And for me,
me, I'm giving up my Saturday because I don't really like being around too many people. It stresses me out. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to the occupation because there's loads of people there already. They're getting really good media attention, aren't they? The training is great. So I feel like the stuff that I'm doing and the other craftivists are doing is more outreach work. So, you know, you've got the occupation happen in the news, lots of people are there. I think it's fab what they're doing. But what about the people wandering around Fulham? Or what about, you know, people in a village somewhere where there is an occupation? Or where, you know, if you're living in Whitney, you know, yeah. where David Cameron lives, and as he says, quite hunky dory. <laughs> They don't really have to think about these issues and they don't have to walk past a lot of stuff that's happening. So let's put little things around there to get them thinking that's cute and unthreatening so they're not feeling freaked out and they're not feeling like it's us and them. But, you know, if you leave a little mini protest banner up and people look at it, they've, they've gone to see it because they've noticed it, so they've gone up to watch it and look at it. So therefore they're taking ownership of their thoughts and emotions that they're having with it. And hopefully they might, like, have a chat with someone about it or take a picture on their phone and tweet it or just have a think about, yeah, bloody hell, this fact about the UK is awful or this quote about good people evil flourishes when good people do nothing, you know, I'm a, I'm a good person, so am I doing enough? You know, I just want to provoke people to think about what they're doing as individuals, as well as going on demos and things. Sometimes it's even more impactful if, you know, an old lady who's a Tory goes and speaks to their MP more than if there's 20 students in that constituency who do a sit-in. You know, there's a need for all of them and to have those conversations in a respectful way that might be even that might be just as useful. So I'm very naive in thinking that this banner isn't gonna change the world, but it might provoke people to think in a different way or remind them to be to be as best they can be and fight for justice while they're on this planet. You know? And then we've got it in a blog as well so people can read it and share it. And look some of these quotes, it? You can even get the little book in there if you're holding it. That is not a bad idea. So what are we gonna write? Bearing in mind it, it can only be small. It's all the ones there. Not here. Here. That's notes from Grace and Perry's talk last night. Is it? Yeah. So I want it to be about inequality in the UK, but I don't yeah. want it to be a rant. I don't want it to make people feel upset that they can't do anything. But I do want it to provoke people to think about what they can do, especially if they're in a more affluent area, but near inequality, where they feel like, you know, they might they might think, oh yeah, I am on 100. There was a statistic about the average gap in inequality in the developed world is the boss will be on a, a minimum of a hundred times more salary than the bottom than the person at the bottom of that company. Isn't that awful? Yeah. And Marks and Spencer's is the worst apparently. It's like 262 times more than the person on the lower salary. I know that at work there were guidelines on the boss should earn above a certain percentage of the bottom of the person is earning. Yeah. But I think I've got less than what the last four times. Well, wealth and richest 10% is, what's the same so, number of what? Time. So, got inequality leads to the worst child, worst child well-being. Yeah. Britain is bottom in the developed world for child well-being. It's not shocking. And I thought that might be good because everyone cares about kids, regardless of what class they're in. And, you know, people should care about kids, and it is something that people tap into. So we could do that one and talk about children from the end. Yeah, I'm always a bit weird of kids. Yeah. It's like, you know, Joseph, the photo, I don't know if I'm not going to go in, but he, um, he said, listen, I don't want to take photos of kids. I want to save the children. It's not just about kids. 
is true, but we do need to make it nice. Make it nice. Yeah, oh, wait. Right. Maybe not that one. Wealth of the richest 10% is 100 times higher than at the bottom 10%. I don't think that's like as engaging. It sounds like quite a, a fact that you could, you could just wash it. Yeah, yeah and you could walk past. Yeah, so maybe not that one. Um, in rich countries, a smaller gap between rich and poor means a happier, healthier, and more successful population. So we could do that, and then we could say the fact that Britain is the third most unequal developed country in the world. We could just stick with that. What, what's the last one? Britain is the what? What? Give us a, what the Britain is the what? what is Britain what? is the third most unequal developed country after America and Portugal. But to make that one, the rich country, one relevant, should we put something in about Britain? So you put both in, you say? I'm just thinking you could put it in the same one. You could say, you know, this is what helps. And let's not forget the Britain is the third most unequal so you would say place something in the world. Like in the developed world. Yeah. It still needs to be sure, but I want people to see it and go, oh my word, I'm embarrassed to live in Britain, let's sort this mess out. That's what I want. No pressure. The more equal society, the more successful the society, the more healthier. That was like Sarah Because it's a complicated message about equality. There's loads in there. I just want to put a bit of a thought. <laughs> and then people can look up stuff as the well. It, well. The better it functions. Yeah, the phrase, the so smaller the gap between rich and poor, the better the, the, better the country is. Yeah. Dot, dot, Britain is the third most unequally developed. Yeah. But it's in the top the three fact. of the most unequal. But it's in the top developed three. Developed country. How are we going to work that? Are going to write this? Yeah. So I'd say it's that's the focus in there. If you want to get me in, why don't you just focus, give me a go? Go and focus there. If you get some more of the writing, all that sort of stuff, yeah? So you, yeah. Say, you get it? Yeah. So I could say. The more equal the society, better it, better it, better it runs. Better it runs. And the more the happier and. More but if you put happier and healthier and forget the successful, then some people might be like. Well, I want to live in a successful place, not just a happier and healthier and lots of like people skipping. Yeah. And also, I can travel around. You know, stitch on the bus or stitch on the tube or in a coffee shop, watch the world go by. And I really like, although I don't like being around loads of people and not that sociable, I like knowing what's going on and watching people and think, listening to people's conversations. And can you hear him talking about Facebook? <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. 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 Yeah, it's fine.
It's quite good. I'm stitching Britain for Britain in a day, isn't it? Get a close up of the word. Quite good. I'm doing the word Britain is the first one. Imagine if I spelt it wrong. Imagine if I spelt Britain wrong. I'm worried now I'm going to spell it wrong. How do you spell it? A I N. Is that right? Get my belt in there. My cross stitch belt. And the Metropolitan Peace badge on my belt on my bag as well. Go and get my own. You can't? No. So how do you spell it? Are you sure? Gonna knock me out with that microphone. What would you do if I bet stand on my Come on, we're off. <laughs> Look, how random is that? I love that. What is it? I don't know, it's just a toilet in a little alleyway. <laughs> but <laughs> isn't that, it's just really pretty. That's what I like about Britain. Unusual pretty things. Like maroon stuff. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long few hours. <laughs> I love all this stuff. Look! <laughs> Ta -da. Just get it out, get doing it. Can I like my bunting? Sorry? <laughs> Can I like my bunting? <laughs> oh, right. I saw the colours and I never... Um, yeah. I didn't read it. <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you know who you are? I think I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah. Do you know who you are? Yeah. Is it I a song for the Rust Iron Stones or something? I don't know. I found it off some woman. She did a postcard on it. But you know when you just think we need to like become who we are and use our skills yeah. and talents and... You know. Something like the Moody Blues. Yeah. And that's ancient. I'm hoping it'll get people to think about becoming who they really are and make a difference in the world. Do you think I'm a bit naive? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. I'm 53 and I think the same. Yeah. But sadly, I had these all the ideals when I was 18. And uh, the world is still run by rotten people. The I people know. are rotten. It's yeah. rotten people. We've got lots and lots of money, but there's not enough. They want more and more. 
I know. Well, hopefully they'll see it and think about whether they're being no, the people who they are. I just oh, don't I mean, care. But they're still humans. Yeah, well, the thing is, mustn't give up hope because what's happening now yeah. is as the capitalist system collapses, something new might come in. Hopefully. Well, all this money they put, I mean, they, 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 hundreds of billions of pounds have been knocked off the shares. Yeah. So, should I just start talking? Yeah. So I've got this, Robin, but I need to put in the quote about um, the more equal a society, the happier, healthier and more successful the population. I was thinking of putting it in a different colour, but I need to figure out what fabric to put it on. Bearing in mind we want it to look cute and unthreatening and blow away in the wind, you know, blow in the wind so people see it. So if it was on that, or should I put it on this? And this is all stuff people have donated to me to help help with the cause. That one or that one. I would go for the more the flowery one. Yeah, because it's more kitsch. I'll tell you what though, I do actually quite like that. No. <laughs> what if I use that one? Okay. Then if I use that one, where is it? Then I could put these on, which look a bit like money. And then it can be like, because it's about wealth, so I could stitch them around it. Or if I don't, or I could use, got different bits of ribbon. So I could put beds and stuff. I've got beds as nature, but I guess this isn't really about nature. So maybe I'll keep that for a climate change one. Yeah, maybe keep them for more like environmental issues. What do you think? Or I could put more flowers on. Stick with that one. And then look at these. I've got some of these as well that I've been collecting. So every time I make a little banner, I try and find stuff to put on it. So I've got some scales that we could put on it. Maybe. You gonna say anything? Yeah, no, I think it's good. Or just a little one. I've got one of these. Handmade with love, or made with love. That that's quite nice. Is it a bit sickly? Is it? Maybe it's a bit sickly. Because I am gonna have my label on it. Do you know what that is? What? It's the uh, straight justice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's still
still in a, it's still a quality. So yeah, if that yeah, was on there, go your label on. Have these, like maybe going up. Run it. Yeah. So maybe I don't need anything else. I mean, I could have a little bed on it. What do you think? So I could put a little bed on it. I could put these on it. Put that on it. Maybe I'm trying to do too much. Bang, bang, bang. Just them. So take, leave all these for another time. I can use them for stuff. Like I can use these about education there in the future, couldn't I? These are quite nice. What do I like about Britain? Um, I like all of the creativity that comes out of it. So amazing art galleries and amazing graffiti and just people being really creative. All of the music that comes out of Britain as well. Good films. Yeah, just think there's so much to appreciate. Very beautiful place with lots to see. What is it that you really dislike about it? Uh, I get quite upset by the inequality in Britain that you can see everywhere, but that people can ignore quite easily. So, even in Notting Hill, where we are here, you've got an enormous council estate called World's End, and for one, calling it World's End is just horrible. Um, and you're surrounded by lots of rich places as well, and I just find it really hard that, as human beings, we can allow that to happen, really, and not fight for equality you know there's all the statistics saying it would help our mental health it would help trust it would help us feel more successful and better well-being yet we just carry on buying things and ignoring each other in many ways and not thinking about putting ourselves in other people's shoes who you know the most vulnerable people in the world i just find it really upsetting that we don't support them and think about them and try and make britain a better place and fulfil the potential that Britain can be a beautiful place, if that makes any sense. It does. What is it that you just want about Britain? Um, what I dislike about Britain in 2011 um, and at the moment is I get quite, I get really upset actually by how inequality is so visual in the UK, you can just see it everywhere and you can you know, politics at the moment with our government saying that for econ economic growth, we, you know, we need these cuts to happen. And it's always hitting the most vulnerable people. And I find it really upsetting to see other human beings in Britain not doing anything to keep fighting for our most vulnerable people in the country and saying, this isn't right, this isn't moral. How can we put our wealth above, you know, humans being supported? So I just, yeah, I just find it really worrying and upsetting that we're treating people unequally and that there's so much inequality that we should be fighting rather than letting happen. So I just find that really upsetting.
what's happening in the UK with our government, with our media, not fighting for, you know, not showing the truth about society with each other, not challenging each other to be better human beings and actually say, is it helpful for me to be so rich or is it helpful for, you know, for me to carry on in the lifestyle that I've got? I think we need to challenge each other to be better human beings and fulfill the potential that Britain's got to be an amazing country. So I, I find that really upsetting and that's what I don't like about Britain. This is a final question. Yeah. Let's take the world. That was, by the way, this looks fantastic. Is it? Well. Yeah. Is it making sense? Because yeah, yeah, I don't... Yeah. Oh. Maybe but something... You've got to realise as well, when they edit this, they'll take out a chunk from the beginning. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, if anything, perhaps not such long... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe, you know, if I... Yeah, shall I just start talking, rambling you know, you've a bit about... You've done about the worrying. Yeah, but I want to say stuff about drive and stuff, so why the hell am I taking time doing this? Yeah, but it's, it's all good. For you, it's almost makes you feel... Giving, you've got that angry voice, and it's good to let that anger out. Yeah, but I think I want to just ramble a bit yeah. about that. Yeah, of course you can, mate. Go. <laughs> so, I'm doing this, and I take a lot of Saturdays out when I'm not working to do this type of stuff because I just, I'm oh. not. Yeah. I'm doing this. So I do this quite a lot when I've got days off and time out because I just, I don't really know what else to do and I really love stitching and I love making things but I also want people to to remember our global neighbours and you know people in Britain and the suffering that they're going through so we can challenge each other to, to make a better Britain and I, I don't really know how else to do it because I'm not very... Um, not very good in big crowds and I don't like shouting so I'm not very extrovert and I really love doing this stuff so it makes sense for me to try and use the skills and hobbies I've got to do something good in the world and plant seeds in people's minds um, so hopefully it does something in people's minds it gets people thinking and it helps me feel like I'm doing something and it de-stresses me I don't really know what else to say. I don't know if that made any sense either. Perfect. I'll tell you what, though. It makes me want to up and start crying. I, I want to cry. I hate this country. It's really stop, shit. Stop, stop, come on. You're going out tonight. I'm going out. But it is, yeah. It is just so overwhelming. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. 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 I there's so much evidence showing that, you know, you can go on a million demos and no one's listening. So you need to think about new ways to do activism. And people tend to like this, and I've got lots of, you know, people blogging about it on fashion websites where politics isn't normally there, which is really nice. I like the fact that we're getting out into places that people don't normally think about issues. I think you meet your nice folks, you've got a great crowd of you work with, haven't you? Yeah, I got some lovely, act, like, shy people who'd never think about being activists before, but love craft, so they're getting involved because of that. So I love, I love the craft community in Britain. I forgot to say that. I really do love the craft community in Britain. I think it's really lovely to feel part of a creative community of shy crafts people. And craft is like emerging in Britain at the moment. Loads of people in Britain are really loving craft more and more. So I'm quite excited to be part of that community movement craft movement turn them into a craftivists that's the plan turn everyone into craftivists so people who are really talented crafts people can use that to get messages out there and yeah that would be really good is there anything with regards to the occupied thing as in you know you don't you, should, you don't have to just do things like that yeah or if you tweet yeah would it reach that topic anyway no, I think being here today rather than the occupation, you know, hopefully we're in solidarity with them, but I'm getting the messages out there that, you know, are in places where people aren't at the occupation or aren't thinking about the occupation, trying to remind them that they can't ignore what's going on, really, provoke them to 
think about issues and hopefully act on the pretty little bit of craft that they've seen with a little message in it. So I think, yeah, I think there's a, definitely a place for the occupation, but I don't think everyone should congregate to there. I think we all need to do lots of stuff all over Britain to, to show that we need to change Britain, really, because it's just a broken Britain that we need to fix and we need to do it quickly now. Right now, Robin. Now? Now. Let's go put it up. Anywhere. Let's just stick it at a bus stop. Yeah, I think, um, I think... Yeah. Well, let's just get back onto the main road to the bus stop that we need to go to anyway, because everyone walks past there, however rich or poor they are, whatever class they are, whatever profession, we'll do it there. And then hopefully loads of people will see it. I love buses. Oh, no, no. So, you know, buses in London are well good. They're better than buses in Liverpool, which are awful. London's transport's well better than, than Liverpool. I was like stitching on the bus. I've had some good conversations with people while I've been cross stitching on the bus. No, I don't at all because I'm too shy. But if I'm stitching and they sit near me, then they'll often ask me. And if anything, that's a better conversation because they've, they've initiated the conversation to say, what are you stitching? And then I can talk about it. Whereas if I sit there going, does anyone want to see what I'm doing? Like, it's just not very organic for a conversation, is it? And people feel like you're preaching to them. So it's really nice. I mean, on trains, trains are better because you're there longer. So people will ask me questions, especially old ladies will ask me what I'm doing. So I've often had really good conversations with them about inequality or about conflict or the power of craftivism versus activism. People take pictures on their phone. Like I got some man he took a picture on his phone to send to his daughter because she likes the craft and I gave him a little flyer about about the group and we had a really nice conversation it's a, it's a good it's a good thing to do to open up conversation with strangers without feeling like you're forcing yourself on them and I can't speak to strangers I just I can smile at them but I get a bit nervous to start a conversation I'm not very eloquent either, so I prefer when people ask me questions than me having to give them a big spiel about an issue because I'm not very good at talking about stuff. Better at sticking it in a, in a mini protest banner or hand embroidering it into a handkerchief for my MP or something. So, Brits, do you like the winter, do you like the summer? A winter person? I hate the summer. It's too hot, it's too sunny, it makes me angry. I love how winter you can wear gloves and hot water bottles and you're in the dark. And I don't know, I'm a winter pet winter baby. I really love the winter in Britain. I think it's beautiful. Look at all these old lights. See, it's just lovely. And the trees are lovely without leaves on, I think. I really like it. There's something cosy about a dark, mild winter in Britain. What do you think? Totally good. I prefer jumpers as well. Yeah, I prefer jumpers and woolly scarves and hats. Yeah, I hate summer clothes. I'd rather be covered up in lots of woolly things. Wish I was rich enough to live in one of them. Well, that's, to be honest... That that's, would be nice, wouldn't it? To me, it's a nice place, but I just find it... Envy walking around. Yeah. Well, imagine. And I end up well, angry when I'm... exactly. So no wonder there's so much conflict in Britain because if you're struggling on the breadline, trying your hardest and working as hard as you possibly can, yet you're still stuck in your place where you might not want to be, and it might be too small for your family, and then you walk around the wealth here. Of course, it's going to make people angry. It makes me angry. It makes you angry. And we're doing all right, don't you think? Yeah. Anyway, it is. It's just shit. <laughs> Today, it's just shit. <laughs> it is. I know we can't have that on the BBC, but we can have it on ours.
put it near the you could put it near the tube station as well because everyone uses the tube in the bus. So we'll put it somewhere around there. Time to take. We don't need to take photos. We could do that another time. I think we'll have to. Yeah. going to take pictures. I'm just going to stick it up and then leave, but then I'm going to come back and take it because I need it. Okay. Well, basically, I'm ready when you are, mate. So I'll stick it up and then I'll walk off. Yeah, stick it up and then walk off that way. Yeah, so I need, and it would get me out of shot so I can come back in as well. Do I, I don't need to say anything, I just want no, to stick it up. Stewie's, uh, yeah, stewie. There's my little scissors. unequal country in the de developed world, the more equal the society, the happier, healthier and more successful its people are. Are you a member of an association or anything? No, well I'm part of the Craftivist Collective, so we leave things around and then you can find it on the website and find out more information about inequality, but Notting Hill's very unequal as well, so you've got lots of rich and lots of poor and we need to fix it as the British people. So I'm hopefully I'll leave it up and people can see it and then think about the issues and find us on the website if they want to get involved. Or, but I've got a little flyer. This is what we do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye. Just it was a bit over, it went over the, uh, I don't know why it was, I think 
my scarf. I think probably. when you're doing your counter to 20, you do it quite quiet, and then when you start uh, talking, it's basically, it's perfectly fine, it's absolutely usable. And I've got also the sound coming in here, it's got the sound there and sound here, so between them, between them, yes, absolutely. You can hear it really clear, it's good. It's very good. I feel bad taking it off, no, I feel bad taking it off now, but I'm going to take it off. The reason I'll tell you what, yeah. So they go, I can't get bollocked. I get, I mean, what? I'm just wondering whether you can get bollocked for the fact that they'll see that. Is it on their property? Give you a mouthful. No. All right. I'm going to say that was great. It looked fantastic. Very good. Let's go. Now, where are we going? We're going to use South, South Ken. South Ken and then we're done. I'm just trying to see. No. Where are we going? South Ken. <laughs> to put up the little mask on the statue. South Ken. South Kensington. 31. What are we on now? C. We are C. BD. Oh no. K. Right. So we want to go up and around. Put on your star. Okay. You got an your star. size of these cars. The amount of 4 by 4s in Chelsea <laughs> is shocking. And it's so flat. Don't need a 4 by 4 here. Enormous blacked out windows, customised plates. I think it's just another sign of insecurity. Don't you reckon? Yeah, equally. This is what we're always on at the minute. The amount of posters is that for on? War, yeah, posters for war games. For what? For war games. That's what I'm preparing for war. You know what like they say? Oh, yeah. Call of Duty, yeah. whatever, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Never know, it was a recession with everyone shopping. So look, check out that car. One four by four. Check out another four by four. Just here. And another one here. Waterloo, uh, Waterloo, London Bridge, I don't know. 
tourist view on the tour, don't it? You can get a bus to Clapham Junction. I'm not what? I'm not bussing anymore. Get out. <laughs> no, well, how are you going to get back? Uh, I just got a tube. Yeah. Oh, is this the 49? Get on it or not? What? Did you get on it or not? Get on what? The 49? Not this one. You can get the 70, which is a little in. Let's get that. Is it there? Yeah. Come in. Yeah. Police catching me. It's not ideal. Okay. Do I have to do the whole thing again? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully you don't mind me putting this on you. It's all for a good cause. Hopefully people will see it. And we'll decide to also make time to fight for people in Britain and around the world as well. Oh, 
different. All right. So if I take a picture on my phone and then you can take a high res picture and we can blog the high res one. But I'll just tweet this one so that we've got something now for all of our 1,200 followers. There we go. Take another one. It'd be really good if you could take some yeah, I'll photos. Do some, I'll do some Let's do that. Let's so we'll do first of all, before we do that, what am I interviewing you saying? You are going to now talk. We'll do it at the end. Let's just get this done. This is the important bit. I really need some pictures of it. So if I can get you taking pictures I can yeah. hold this doing it. Was that all right putting it yes. up? I'm worried it's going to fall down again. Yeah, I don't care. Try not to get the ear in that's fallen apart. It's not attached properly, get the rest of it in. It's a nice shot of your ass there, Robin. This is the bit I don't like about putting it up is when everyone watches. It makes me really nervous and uncomfortable. I'm not an extrovert, so Paul Robin isn't either. Most craftivists are not extroverts. But it's good people are reading it. I really like watching when people take a picture on their phone because you know that hopefully they'll show it to people. Can you take this? Yeah, cool. It's just to have a few variety, isn't it, so that we can people can place it. Oh, that one's great. Yeah, we've got loads. Yeah. I'm gonna good. take it off. So now you just gotta say. I'll stand next to it and say. Yeah. It's still rolling because I didn't know what to do. All right. So I'm going to do two versions. Yeah. Yeah. So what am I saying? I've done it. We've done it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long day, but. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm so. Yeah. So it's been a long day of crafting. Hasn't been that bad crafting in coffee shops and on the bus and it's been really good and I've thought a lot about the issues and also chilled out a bit which is always good on a Saturday. So now I'm off to go to the cinema with my mate in Brixton and yeah hang out with my friends but hopefully people will see this stuff and it'll do something. You can only hope really. One sentence saying I'm not, I just hope that people look at that and read it yeah. and take it from it. I just hope that people see this mask and the mini protest banner and the bunting and all of the other craftivism stuff I do and other members do and take something from it. Either do something or think something or have a conversation with someone and yeah, it stays with them. That's the hope. Now, what was the 